time it is? It's story time. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So one morning, I decided that I was going to eat kind of healthy. You know what I'm saying? Or healthy than I have been eating previously. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me a big ass bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> like a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? So um, I got the pot. I got the distilled water. Feel me? I got the distilled water. I poured it into the pot. I cut the L flame on under the pot. So the pot was flamed on. The pot started to boil. You know what I'm saying? My homie hit me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chopping it up with him. He discussing some music. So we chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, well, let me go ahead and start prepar preparing for, you know, what I'm finna do. So I got the bowl out. You know what I'm saying? I got the spoon, everything ready to go. I went in the refrigerator. And I didn't have no butter. Oh, no. You can't eat oatmeal without no butter, man. I don't care who you is. You can't eat no oatmeal without no butter. You feel me? So... I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, psychologically psych myself out. I was telling my partner, I'm like, bro, I ain't got no butter. That nigga like, nigga, you better manifest some butter then, you know. He trying to clown, tell me to manifest some butter because, you know, I'll be with the with the deep, deep, deep shit. You know what I'm saying? So he trying to clown. So he got me lightweight hot, got off the phone with him. Boom, hung the phone up. So I'm trying to figure out how... Am I going to eat this pot of oatmeal? I don't want to throw it away because, you know, that little voice was in the back of my head where my mom was saying, it's people in Africa starving right now. You better eat that food. And that's all I'm thinking about when I'm looking at the pot. Matter of fact, it was that pot right there. So I'm like, man, I feel hella bad if I threw this away. It's a big ass pot of oatmeal, right? So I tried to take a bite of it. I put some, a little. I tried to take because I knew it was all bad. I tried to take a bite of it. Not a go. So I'm thinking to myself, man, it's hella selfish of me to throw this away. Man, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna figure it out. So I put some um some some dried pomegranates in it. Dried pomegranates, kind of like the craisins. Threw that in there. Boom. And it made a little difference. Not too much. All right. Then I threw some uh, some dried blueberries in there. Then I threw some bananas in there, and then I threw some um, some rice milk because it has a little hint of a vanilla flavor to it. So I threw some rice milk in there. You know what I mean? And after I did all of that, doctoring up, the oatmeal was edible. I ate it. I ate it all. You know what I'm saying? No butter. Didn't even put no sugar in there. Not even a lot of sugar. You know I'm saying? I think I a little spoonful, but I didn't even put, you know, enough sugar in there to make a difference. It was healthy. It was a healthy bowl of oatmeal with all natural shit. And it made me think. It made me think about what was my dilemma and what was my solution. My dilemma was not that I didn't have any butter. My dilemma was that the oatmeal was not edible. So instead of throwing the oatmeal away, which was perfectly good, nothing was wrong with the oatmeal, I used what I had, the things that I took for granted, the things that I did not appreciate, the things that I didn't know would make the oatmeal way better than it ever could be with butter or sugar. I used what I had to get to the end result and that was to make the oatmeal edible. So when my partner was trying to clown, it was like, you better manifest and materialize some butter. In so many ways, I did. This is what true alchemy is. You take something and you turn it into something else. What I had was way better than butter.
way better than butter. And it was just a valuable, simple lesson that I learned by not having some butter. So the next time you don't have some butter, you better manifest it and materialize it with what you got around you. Because what you need, you already have. <laughs>